So I think the main issue is the O, which I'm not able to adjust because it just won't let me find it. So this is this green and blue is the bobby bit. So I can adjust those up to something more comfortable. I'd sing that again, but it's quite a useful tool when, it, when you want to change the melody, the top line melody, you can just have a go, without having to re-sing it and play it and record it, you can just try different notes by just gra dragging, so this is very audio, but I need that O word to be redone, now does that work in the wider context, let's turn off the repeat. Another, I guess another problem is when you're doing this with your own vocal, or at least for me, I just totally, like you try something and think, oh, that sounds great. And then you come back a day later and you think, what on earth have I done? Why did I change that? It was better originally. So right now it sounds better, but I do, I know this, it takes a long time to go through and do process your own vocals because you're just not, um, I think one of the core problems is I don't enjoy listening to my own voice. So that means I have to go back. I change it and I think, oh, that sounds better because it sounds less like me. <laughs> and then I have to go back a few days later and say, well, did that change make sense or was it better as it was? So it takes a long time to go through the vocal because I have to have to sanity check everything after enough time has elapsed to allow me to verify that the change actually was the correct thing to do. But I believe this section of vocal needs to be re-recorded. So that's what I'm going to do. The intro. Oh, Bobby. Rather than no Bobby. <laughs> it's more appropriate to the character of the individual who Bobby is. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> 